only opens just in about 10% of the year. Normally 90% of the year keeps closed like today. Because they just use it to discharge when there is the rainy season and then they need it to discharge this amount of water that it overflows on the Panama, on the Itaipus Reservoir. So they open it to discharge this overflow. Normally the water are passing, but just behind of us there, where you can see those white pipes. But there is the water is passing to make the generation of energy. And the water that passes here generates no energy. Well, in this place, we don't get off of the bus, but we will stop for a few seconds in front of the spillway. If you want to take some pictures, please make yourself at home. You can take some pictures, okay? You will stop for a few moments here in front of the spillway. And if you take a look, that is on the top of the spillway, 14 gates. Each gate like that one is 21 meters length by 20 meters wide. And each one weights as equivalent as 300 tons for each gate. 300 tons. The high of them is equivalent as a seven-star building. Just a question, uh, have you been the waterfalls or not yet? Yeah. Yes, very nice, you can compare the maximum, can have an idea about the maximum capacity of discharge of this freeway comparing with the waterfalls. Not so far they never needed before to open the maximum capacity this is freeway, but if you one day you needed to do it, the maximum capacity of water that can pass in this place is 40 times as the water as the flow of the Iguazu Falls, 40 times. This is in liters of water, 62 millions of liters of water per second. Well, and you can see in the space beside the trees, these little signs. This is a tribute, this is an offer for every work in Itaipu where they completely work in here 15 years. Or if they don't completely this time and they had tried it before, they can plant a tree here. You know, like a worker's grove. That's the name that you give for this place. And they can plant the tree here. Since the construction of the power plant, the people who are working in the operation of the power plant nowadays, the present time had been planted when in this place over than 1,200 trees in this place. More than 1,200 trees had been planted in this grove here. And the tree needs to be a native tree, a tree from this area, from this part of Brazil. And also, that, that is the name of the employee, the date when he started working here in Itaipu, and the date when he planted this tree. And now we are getting close here to the central observation deck. Now you can take the first view of the May Den, the May Concrete Den. And now when you get off of the bus, I just will ask your attention. For in about two minutes, I would like you to follow me. I just will give you some explanations how they made about the stage of the construction of the power plant. And then we will give you a free time for taking some pictures, okay? That is the toilets here too, if you need to go to the toilets, okay? I just will ask for you to follow us now, please. The time that we will take here is in about 5-10 minutes, okay? The helmets, they are still optional, it's not obligatory. 